Seafarers Medicals by Dr. Dariusz Krasnicki from Poland. Hi, my name is Dr. Dariusz Krasnicki and I am an approved seafarer physician in Poland. I have been dealing with the seamen from different countries for over 20 years. In this video, I am going to tell you about some, but not all, seafarers physical exam guidelines in my country, so you can get your Siemens certificate very quickly and without a delay. First, you must provide me with a photographic identity document and a copy of the last medical fitness certificate if the medical examination is not your first examination. You shall advise the medical practitioner if you have previously failed a seafarer medical examination or any significant medical condition you may have or medical treatment you are undergoing at the time of the examination. I will also take into account the potentially hazardous nature of seafaring, which calls for a high standard of health and continuing fitness. I will take into account your age and experience as a seafarer, nature of the duties to be performed and the ship's itinerary. Since many seafarers will need to join and leave ships by the air, you should be free from any conditions which recruits air travel or could be seriously affected by it. Medical treatment of diseases that are not chronic should be completed before a health certificate is issued by me. A few words about medications. If you pass the exam and using long-term medications, you must have a letter from you, your treating doctor detailing name of medication, dosage you take, confirmation that permission to use the medication when on duty on board the ship, and that it will not interfere or affect your ability to perform your duties. If your blood pressure is greater than uh, 140-90, it will require further medical workup and clearance prior to passing the exam. All your responses with a yes on a self-assessment form, a reply on, on the health history portion of the exam must be further addressed by the examining physician, that's mean by me or my colleagues. A few words about blood chemistry. You have to perform some blood tests, mostly liver profile, also glucosa, fast glucosa, cholesterol, triglycerides, creatinine and some others. Results of complete blood count including chemoglobin, hematocrit, white blood cells, platelets, audiometry, which is your hearing test, all employees on the ship that perform navigational watch functions must be able to hear at least 30 decibels in the best ear without or with use of uh, hearing aid and 40 decibels in their weakest ear. I will also take into account that the limited crew complements, which mean that illness of one crew member may place a burden on others or impair the safe and efficient working of the ship. If you need more information about physical exam guidelines for the examining physicians in Poland, just let me know in the comments below. Derek Kraśnicki from Wrocław, authorized doctor by Polish Maritime Authority was talking to you and see you soon. Bye bye.